Thank you, Madam Speaker. Uh, members, I ask that we adjourn this morning in memory of Gazaros Kademian, a 101-year-old citizen of Glendale who passed away on January 24th. And Gazaros Kademian's life was remarkable, not just for its length, but also for how it began and what it what, the, what his longevity stood for, both for the Armenian community uh, and everyone in our area. Gazaros Kademian was born in the historic city of Zaitun in 1907. He was just six years old when his family was forced into exile by Ottoman Turks bent on annihilating the Armenian people. His father was murdered by Turkish gendarmes and the rest of his family was forced to flee on foot to Kirkuk where his mother died from cold and hunger. Six-year-old Gazaros was separated from his siblings and he was left orphaned and homeless in a town where he did not speak the language. Fortunately, an Arab Christian family rescued the young survivor from the streets and gave him the opportunity to grow up in a loving home. After some time, he was able to reconnect with his siblings and other survivors of the Armenian Genocide, moved to uh, Iraq and eventually settled in the United States where he became a longtime activist and leader in the Armenian community. Gazaros Kademian uh, was symbolic in many ways of the struggle that the Armenian people have had since, since the genocide of 1915. In fact, on May 18, 2005, he was honored by Congressman Adam Schiff, who wrote as part of the congressional record, that the courage of survivors like Gazaros Kademian reminds all mankind of the extraordinary strength and determination of the Armenian people who endured the unspeakable atrocities perpetrated against them by the Ottoman Empire. It is our sacred obligation to honor the memory of the one and a half million men, women, and children systematically murdered during the Armenian Genocide. And certainly that was true of the importance of Gazaros Kademian's uh, life. With his passing, we lose yet one more link to the past, yet one more eyewitness who can testify to these atrocities of the past. And with his passing, we should rem be reminded of our obligation to continue to carry the torch of justice and remembrance and ensure that future genocides are avoided and that the past genocides, like the Armenian genocides, genocide, is appropriately remembered uh, and acknowledged and that justice be done. Thank you very much. Thank you, Mr. Kukarian. Mr. De Leon? Thank you very much, Madam Speaker. I, too, join my colleague, Mr. Paul Kukarian, and the larger Armenian-American community here in the state of California to mourn the death of the one of the last Armenian genocide survivors. The biggest way that we can honor this, the memory of this giant of a man who lived up to a, a century here in the United States and also Baghdad Iraq, where he found his new home before coming to the United States, is to continue to pledge our work to recognize the Armenian genocide uh, here in the California State Legislature. Thank you very much, Madam Speaker. Thank you, Mr. De Leon. If you please bring the information to the desk so we, we can honor Mr. Kadimian.